Hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome back or welcome if you are new and welcome to my book organization. So I recently moved house. I did a move in vlog. If you haven't watched it yet, feel free to do so. I had a lot of updates on the move, but because I've moved house, it's the perfect excuse to just reorganize my bookshelves and make them pretty again. I honestly moved about three weeks ago and I'm only just now putting my books back onto my bookshelf. It has been a struggle and I have hated every second of having all of my books in boxes and not on the shelves because I don't know what to read because I don't know where any of my books are. So I'm very excited that I'm going to have them all back on my shelves again. So this is a little bit different to my past bookshelves. These were originally in my old room but because I've moved and I've moved into a room that is a little bit smaller than my last. These are now in our living room. Because these are also going to be in the living room I do want to actually get a smaller bookshelf to fit in my room along Inside my TBR car. I haven't got hold of that yet so that will be like the second half of this video when that happens. So like I said all of my books are currently in boxes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I currently have eight boxes sat in front of me. So this is going to take a while. I imagine that this video is going to be fairly long so feel free to grab yourself a snack, a cup of tea. I am definitely going to remake my cup of tea because it's pretty cold now and I feel like I'm going to need a new one for this. But yeah let's get organizing. <laughs> taken all of the books out of the boxes and I'm slightly overwhelmed although I did get rid of like 150 books I think in the end which I went through in my move-in vlog and I'm so happy that I did because it means that I have so much more space on my bookshelves it was easier to move and like get rid of them I still have so many and I currently feel like I want my classics my modern classics because they tend to be all of my favorite books in my room with me although I don't have that bookshelf yet I have a lot of classics like probably the majority of my books other than literary fiction are classic so I feel like it would be really nice to have them in my room with me because like I said they're always my favorite books but I feel like it's going to leave too much space on these bookshelves but I think that's probably going to be the last thing that I will conquer first of all I'm probably going to do my fantasy or literary fiction okay yeah we're going to do literary fiction because that's the one that I will have most of and we can get started <laughs> I did all of this and I was like okay I don't love it but I also don't hate it took a second to go and make myself some lunch because I've already been doing this for nearly two hours realized that half of my books aren't even on my bookshelf I was like I don't know where they are 
honestly i only realized because all was well by mona award i couldn't see it anywhere and i was like i better not have left that at the old house no i just found a massive box of books under all of my boxes of clothes that i couldn't even carry so that was a task getting in here we have one more box to go i do say one more box but like i said earlier i have put like all of my like classics all of my editions of the secret history for example some modern classics in a box that i definitely want to put in my room once i do have a bookshelf there but all of these books in the new box that I have just found need to go here which is good because I do have some space to fill. So I think this is how I'm going to leave it for now. It's definitely not perfect and definitely not 100% how I want it. But I don't think I'm going to get it 100% how I want it until I have the other bookshelf in my room to kind of compare and like swap things over. But for right now, I'm definitely happy with this. So I'm going to show you shelf by shelf. I've tried to kind of utilize as much space as possible whilst also leaving space because I'm no doubt going to get some more books to add on to these. But yeah, I'll show you shelf by shelf. So the lighting right now is not great. And if you can hear the rain. I'm just gonna take it as a vibe. So this top left shelf I've kind of done as like my thrillers or my horrors. I kind of really like this shelf because a lot of them are color coded. A lot of them tend to be like dark or white or red so I think it looks really nice. There are so many books on here that I'm so excited to read for autumn. And then we come down one and we have like a hardback fiction. I just kind of wanted all of these together because they're so big. And then we just go into some other fiction. We have my Taylor Jenkins reads and then you know, just some normal paperback fiction. Coming down again, we then have my hardback fantasy shelf, which is a little bit gappy right now because a lot of them are on my September TBR. This I absolutely love. I love the way that it all looks together because it's literally the same height. And as much as I love having shelves with so many different kind of heights on it, I love the look of fantasy hardbacks all together. We then have another little fantasy shelf. A lot of these are paperbacks. Also, all of my V Schwab books I love having together. A cute little photo with some books behind which are some more fantasy books but I didn't like the way the spines looked on this shelf so I kind of just put them pages out. We then have my young adult shelf. One of the hinges in this back corner like I lost it so it's very much going inwards so I probably shouldn't have put too many books on it but these are all of my young adult books. I don't own too many anymore because I did get rid of a lot of them but these are the ones that I still love and definitely want to keep. And then I'm not going to lie the bottom two shelves to be honest I just kind of use as extra storage or a lot of them are books that I don't necessarily want to get rid of but don't want on show or I am trying to get rid of so these two we'll just ignore them. We then have my fiction shelves so like adult fiction, literary fiction, translated fiction. I don't 100% love the way this shelf looks but I also don't hate it. A lot of these are some of my favourite books. A lot I still haven't read either but these are like the literary fiction ones. This is one of my little selections of translated fiction. I do have a couple of these kind of dotted everywhere but these are like the bulk of my translated fiction reads a lot of these two are my favorite reads especially i who have never known men paradise rock girls against god all of my hang hang books i just love these and then here we just have some more literary fiction fiction books a lot of my favorites again i just liked the way that these looked next to these we then have my romances i don't have too many romances anymore i got rid of so many when i did my big unhaul for the move but these are ones that i still definitely want to read or i have read already and absolutely love. And then this shelf has changed a lot since I did my book organization originally. This shelf had like my Bronte books, which are now in my room, which you will see. So for now, I'm just using this shelf as books that I have received or proofs that I need to get to. I don't 100% love that that is there, but it's handy for now, so it's gonna stay. And then the last shelf that isn't just messy extra storage are all of like my mangas and my graphic novels. All of my Junji Itos, my Death Notes, all of that stuff are here. <laughs>
it's been a few days since I put up this bookshelf and I started organizing it, which you guys would have seen. But now I wanna kind of take you through what I've done, why I've done it. I'm honestly so happy that I have a bookshelf in my room. I was kind of feeling a little bit down about not having it solely because obviously in my last room, if you were watching my videos then, I had both of my bookshelves in my room. Now they are in our living room. So having some books back in my space makes me incredibly happy. And honestly, it was no surprise to I'm sure anyone, even to myself, that I probably could have done with an extra bookshelf. So I'm glad that I now have one. So yeah, this is the bookshelf in my room. I will take you shelf by shelf. So this is the top shelf and I kind of wanted to have all of my poetry as the top shelf. I think it looks really nice. These ones aren't poetry. These are like classics that I annotated and I used for uni. Very sun damaged. They're also the Wordsworth classic editions so they are really ugly. Like let me just show you for example how ugly they are. This was the Jane Eyre edition that I used for uni. As you can see like the cover is literally, if it wants to focus, blue and the edges are so sun damaged like they're disgusting so I thought I would face them out like this because I think it looks cute. Yeah I just decided to put all of my poetry on the top shelf. You can probably tell that some of the books have the pages out. Those are the ones that I don't necessarily like the spines of or it kind of just doesn't go with the rest of the shelf so I'm really happy with how this one looks. Next we have this shelf which is my black penguin classic shelf, my modern classic shelf. I love this shelf. This shelf makes me incredibly happy. I love having all of the black penguin classics together here and then like the modern classics together here. I buy so many of these and these are the kind of books that I am always, always going to keep on top of and would love to collect. Not necessarily all of them, but all of the ones that I know I definitely want to read in my life. So having space here too is really good. And then obviously I have my Penguin Cloth Bound Classics here. I don't actually have too many of them, but I do love the way that it looks. Kind of stacked like that. And then this shelf is my little Donna Tart shelf. Again, there is so much space left on it. I kind of did didn't know how to organize them without making it look just so gappy and so empty but I honestly kind of like the fact that they look like they're not overflowing like my other shelves so for now this is my Donna Tartt shelf I am also going to have a new edition coming very soon yesterday on Waterstones I saw the Goldfinch kind of anniversary edition like the secret history and it was signed I did manage to get a signed one which I'm really happy about so obviously that book will end up on the shelf also but I just have like my the secret history collection <laughs> a little close-up view I'm gonna go through all of the editions because I do get a couple of questions on my TikTok and my Instagram so I may as well just show you here. So this one was the anniversary edition that they did most recently just the normal like new hardback. For the 30th anniversary too they did do some signed copies which I still like cannot believe that I have. I can't remember how many they did. I think it was about 500. Yeah, 500 and my copy is 422. This is like my prized possession. I love it so much. This one I actually don't know the name of. It's like the Penguin Books but the Crime edition. I just love the green so much. When I did buy this, I bought this one off of Abe Books. I think I got it for £5 including delivery. They did say it was in really good condition though and I don't know about you but like... I wouldn't say that's the best condition ever, but I'm so happy that I have this one. This one is probably the one that I get the most questions about, and I believe it's the 25th anniversary, like the paperback anniversary edition. And I'm not gonna lie, this one and the next one I'll show you, which you can see because it's face out, are my favorite ones ever. It's just the normal paperback in this gorgeous white, like the simplicity, the font, I'm just obsessed with it. And this was like the find of my life. I found it on Amazon Marketplace, secondhand on Amazon for £2.50. Like with delivery, it was about £5.50. Like I'm never getting over that. And then my favorite one out of all of them is this one. I don't actually know the name for this one. I do always forget it, but this one is just gorgeous. I feel like this cover just perfectly embodies the vibes of this book. And this one was a gift, a birthday gift this year from my best friend, which I'm incredibly grateful for. And then this one is just my normal paperback that I read when I was reading it for the first time so it's heavily heavily annotated pretty wrecked and I do actually want to do a reread of the secret history this year obviously in autumn my first time rereading it I don't know if I'm going to reread this edition because not that it'll be hard to read but I kind of like want to re-annotate it and kind of compare the two annotations so I might also just end up getting like 
another version of this one but with the actual like nice just a newer version of this one for me to do my reread moving down we just have another little classic shelf these ones this is honestly just like an array of different classics and modern classics i honestly just put them here because i wanted them on this shelf and i don't really have like enough of each sort of book or each sort of author to have them all separate and i feel like this color scheme kind of goes really nicely in here so this is just a random shelf and the last shelf that i'm using for books on here because i am kind of using the bottom shelves if i take you back a little bit for storage on here i kind of wanted to do a bronte shelf i've never had a bronte shelf before i never really had enough versions of their books enough copies of their books to have their own shelf and i definitely do want to get more like they're all books that i definitely want to collect editions of especially wuthering heights and obviously jane eyre but i'm really happy for now to just have all of these on one shelf together these are the folio society like really nice green kind of wooden editions i found this box set for 30 pounds in the open market in brighton if you're familiar with that there is like this little stall that do so many secondhand books and also sell some gorgeous lamps like tiffany lamps and i found this there and i just couldn't leave it because it's all of the bronte's books and i'm just in love just have some more copies there and then my pride and joy which is this jane eyre edition this is the manuscript of jane eyre bound by sp books i believe there's only a thousand that have ever been made it's printed on this gorgeous gorgeous paper and it's literally just the manuscript like a copy of the manuscript with charlotte bronte's writing you see all of her kind of crossing out the ink splotches it is just a dream and every single time i flick through it i am brought to tears this one was very kindly gifted to me by sp books and i am just so obsessed with them i like this isn't sponsored i really wish it was but they genuinely do make the best gifts and i hope in the future that i can get some more and i'm just in love that one is my pride and joy so it needed to be on the bookshelf so that pretty much concludes this bookshelf reorganization i really really hope that you enjoyed watching it i really really enjoyed organizing them it's one of my favorite things even though it does make me incredibly stressed because I am a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to the look of my shelves but I am really happy with the way that they have all turned out and I'm sure that over time anyway when I get some more books they are going to change so I'll probably include little reorganizations here and there in like future reading vlogs please let me know how you organize your shelves whether you do it alphabetically or by color or also by genre like I do I absolutely love seeing how everybody organizes their shelves because I feel like they always look so personal and so beautiful beautiful so definitely let me know and if you also wanted to show that you stayed until the very end of the video but you don't really know what to comment comment any book emoji that feels fairly fitting a little cheeky reminder that as always all of my socials are linked down in the description box below i have my tiktok my instagram my goodreads and so much more and yeah thank you so much for watching and for being here and i will see you again very soon with another video Aww.